So uh, now we're going to review uh, oral suctioning with the yonker or handheld suction device. Um, in most facilities, uh, it looks a lot like this when it's a wall device. It's got the um, yellow vacuum um, a wall piece, um, and then it has the suction um, apparatus attached to it with a dial um, to tell you how, mi how much pressure it's, can it's sucking. Um, and then also a dial to tell you whether it's increasing or decreasing the, the level of suction. Um, then there's a red tubing hooked up to the canister that's attached to the wall. Um, and there's an inner uh, canister that you can change out, obviously between patients and um, when it's full. Um, so you want to make sure that system is, is monitored and you can change it out if and when needed. Um, and then to actually suction from your patient, you'll get um, suction tubing. So it's this larger bore, thick plastic tubing. Um, and it doesn't come with this attached. It's a separate uh, a piece, but the yonker suction. So that's this handheld piece um, like this. It's a lot like the one that you use at the dentist when they, they give you that handheld suction to suck out the excess saliva. Um, so if we set up all our equipment here um, and our patient is wanting to just hang on to this to help him clear his, uh, he's expectorating, but he's having a hard time maybe spitting out the secretions, we can use this. This is just an oral suction. So it will just kind of go in his mouth. It's not meant, it's not intended for deep suction. It's just for in the mouth. Um, and he can hold it and do it himself, or you could help him with it as well. Um, so this one, it's just, it doesn't, the catheter doesn't need to remain sterile, just clean. Um, so he can use it and then put it back in here to, to maintain its cleanliness when it's just sitting on the bed. Um, so to turn it on, um, you would hook up all your apparatus and there's an on off uh, switch back here. Um, we already had it turned on, but when you do first turn it on, it's usually starts at zero and you just have to increase the suction. So for an adult, it's roughly for safe um, oral suctioning, 100 to about 150, but you'll see there's parameters here of um, green, yellow, and red um, for the amount or level of actual suctioning that you're getting. So you can hear it suctioning um, right away. Um, you can ask the person to try it out, see if it, if it works on their oral secretions, and you'll see them get sucked back into the, the canister. If ever you want to or need to clear the tube out, um, you can stick it into a sterile, um, uh, sterile water container, water bottle, uh, such as this one here. Um, so you'd open up a, a new one and then stick it in there. Um, and then you could clear it out that way. Or oftentimes what we'll do is just replace the tubing if it gets kind of yucky and um, uh, clogged or it's starting to look a little clogged because that will impair the, the level of suction it can deliver. So that's kind of the basics of um, oral suction device.